deep in the wilderness where the rugged scablands of the Pacific Northwest meet the basin and range, there lies a vast and awe-inspiring landscape that beckons to those who seek adventure. This is the Alvord Desert, a stark and stunningly beautiful expanse of parched earth and endless sky that stretches for miles in all directions. Our intrepid explorer sets out on a daring quest to discover the secrets of this vast and untamed wilderness in but a single weekend. With a near 1200 mile journey ahead of him, he packs his gear and sets off from Seattle, heading south towards this remote and isolated high desert. Despite a grueling 10 hour drive and uncertainty of camping in the mud, his spirit remains unbroken and he presses on, eager to explore the many wonders that this rugged and untamed terrain has to offer. The journey takes him to the eastern escarpment of Steens Mountain, towering above the Alvor Desert and beckoning to those brave enough to scale its lofty heights. Perhaps by using the road suitable for passenger vehicles to take you within a quarter mile of the summit. Eight years earlier, on a spontaneous road trip from California to Idaho, our explorer first caught a glimpse of the mountain from afar. And now, at last, he has the chance to experience it up close and personal. And having gone over a year without a camping trip, he is eager to reconnect with the natural world and the sense of freedom that only the wilderness can provide. Anticipation filled our explorer as he drove east on Highway 20 towards Burns, Oregon, grateful for the change in scenery from his last trip along the same road. The lack of blinding snowstorms certainly made it easier to appreciate the endless expanse of sagebrush. Turning south off the main highway, the looming Steens Mountain came into view with its snow-capped peaks and brooding clouds. The fun begins when the pavement ends, he thought to himself, as the road turned to gravel and he entered the desolate region. Along the way, he passed by homesteads and ranches, marveling at how people could make a living in such an isolated environment. Eventually, he arrived at Man Lake, a campground and humble body of water surrounded by rugged mountains. Despite the lack of amenities, the peacefulness of the place was not lost on him. The solitude at the campsite was palpable and felt as if the place had been somewhat forgotten. Nonetheless, it was a quaint spot to visit and one could indeed camp here. He did, however, take note of the advisory sign on the bathroom door, which warned that the facilities were not up to the usual health standards established by the Oregon Health Authority. Leaving Man Lake, our traveler was eager to explore the vast and remote desert the area is known for its arid climate and unique geological features, including the expansive dry lake bed of Alvord Lake. En route, our traveler made a stop at Alvord Hot Springs, a popular destination for campers and tourists looking for respite in the harsh desert environment, or frankly, anything to do in such a barren landscape. However, seeing that chainsaws and explosives were prohibited in the area, our adventurer opted to skip the hot springs and instead headed to the dry lake bed. To his surprise, much more of the lake bed was drivable than expected, proving that there's nothing quite like miles upon miles of monotonous, featureless desert landscape to fuel the adventurous spirit. It takes a special kind of person to find this entertaining, but for those who do, the Alvord Desert offers a unique and unforgettable experience. They were careful to avoid driving on the wet areas, mindful of the potential damage that could be done to the fragile ecosystem. Conservatives and ram truck owners may see this effort as sissy liptard political correctness because what's the worst that could happen with a pair of tire ruts through the desert? Mm -hmm. 
As our traveller made their way across the lake bed at speeds less than or equal to 523 miles per hour, our adventurer couldn't help but feel a sense of exhilaration at the vastness of the desert landscape. They were particularly excited to camp in this remote location, as opposed to the quaint but admittedly underwhelming Man Lake. With the mountain towering in the distance, our adventurer was inspired to explore the fringes of the lake bed in search of the dirt tracks that led into the rugged scablands. But the journey was not without its challenges, as he found himself getting lost in the thicket of bushes at the lake's perimeter. With his trusty drone in hand, he took to the skies to navigate the unforgiving terrain and locate the elusive roads. After some perseverance and a bit of luck, he eventually found his way off the lake bed and onto the next stop on his journey, Mickey Hot Springs. Amidst the barren landscape were hissing fumaroles and a bubbling mud pit, all ejecting hot steam. While it may be tempting to take a dip in the pools, the scalding temperatures here are not to be trifled with. It's a good idea to keep any and all appendages out of the water. One spring in particular catches the eye, constantly erupting more than the rest. Mickey Hot Springs remained largely unnoticed until 1992, when one of the bubbling spots shot up six to eight feet, receiving national attention as the only natural geyser in Oregon. And of course, that's only after factoring out all of the unnatural ones. It is easy to mistake the crusty white soil here for snow if you've never seen snow before, but it is actually sodium borate, also known as borax. The substance is used in many industrial applications such as cleaning products, glass manufacturing and as a flame retardant due to its unique properties as a natural mineral salt. As evening drew closer, it was time for our adventurous pioneer to set up camp on the desolate Alvord lakebed. With his brand new $550 Nemo Hornet Elite Osmo 3 Season, one person ultralight backpacking tent, he made sure to pitch the rain fly despite the near 0% forecast of rain. Because after paying that sort of a premium to live like a homeless person, if you got it, why not flaunt it? For dinner, our brave wanderer enjoyed the company of his trusty travel companion, Esteban. With twilight descending upon the desert landscape, our adventurer set out for an after-dinner stroll on the lake bed. Blue hour, with its ethereal light, is one of his favorite times to admire the otherworldly beauty of such unique landscapes. But alas, the serenity was not to last. Despite being half a mile away, the sounds of blasting music from a neighboring group shattered the peace and quiet. At first, it wasn't too bad, as they seemed to have similar taste in music. But when the beats didn't stop, our adventurer had thankfully come prepared with earplugs, knowing that sometimes even the most idyllic of locations can be disturbed by inconsiderate neighbors. Even before first light, our curious explorer was already up and about, eagerly preparing to capture the stunning scenery that awaited him. Despite the chilly morning air, he wasted no time launching his trusty drone and taking to the skies. As the first rays of sunlight illuminated the land, a breathtaking display of colors filled the sky. From deep reds and pastel pinks to vibrant purples and cobalt blues, the sky was a canvas of natural beauty. The snow-capped peaks of Steen's Mountain perfectly reflected in the calm waters of Alvord Lake. It was a sight to behold. Though the forecast may have called for milder temperatures, nature had other plans, with the frigid air leaving a thin layer of frost on everything at camp. But our adventurer didn't let the cold dampen his spirits, as he acquired a surprisingly good night's sleep, taking advantage of every moment of rest before the day's adventures began. 
After spending hours capturing every angle and detail of the landscape, from the serene waters to the snow-capped peaks, our adventurous shutterbug took pause to savor the moment, enjoying a hot cup of coffee on the tranquil lakebed. For him, these moments of peace, quiet, and sublime beauty were what made the journey worth it. A chance to escape the hustle and bustle of daily life and embrace the wonder of the natural world. As the trip came to a close, our adventurer had to say goodbye to the enchanting Alvort Desert and its awe-inspiring expanse. Though it was just a weekend, the memories of this journey will last a lifetime. The landscape, both breathtaking and unforgiving, leaves one feeling small and humbled in the presence of such grandeur. For those who dare to venture out into the wild, there are endless possibilities waiting to be discovered, and the experience is one that will stay with you forever. <laughs>